We're back live. My Carts Toys. Multiple My Carts Toys videos. We're gonna do some robots, Transformers, Bot Bots. Transformers, Bot Bots, Blind Bag. Let's go ahead and try this out. What do we got here? Little Transformer robots. Just like little weird robots. You got gold ones. Don't start that gold stuff. Start that gold stuff. That's when you start trying to collect all of them. Transformers, guys. Minifigures. Series 5. Let's go ahead and open this blind bag. This is the first time I ever bought one of these. This one was from uh, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. And it comes with a little pamphlet. So here's our Transformer. Looks like a piece of cake. So these are kind of like the ones that used to come with McDonald's. Right? In the McDonald's Happy Meal, they would have a Happy Meal Transformer. So yeah, if that's what that is, it looks like a piece of cake. Chocolate cake, fudge cake. Or what else could it be? I don't know. Besides a cake, a, a piece of cheesecake, I guess. The candle, one candle on it. Let's see what this pamphlet says it is. So this might show us what this one is. Bot bots. Let's see, I'm looking at a bunch of little bot bots here. It's that one, I think. Is that one? I don't know. Which one is it? Oh, here it is, right here. <clears throat> what does it say on there? Cheesecake? Yeah, cheesecake, right? Let me see. Rickmund. 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 I mean, Richmond. Uh, cakes. Cakes more. Richmond's cakes more. <clears throat> Sorry, let me clear my throat real quick. Drink some of this water. So, Richmond cakes more. I'll try to zoom in right here. I can't. It's like a little cake monster guy. We're going to transform him right now. Just take some water real quick. <clears throat> Alright. Clear my throat. Bot bots, guys. So it says how to transform him over here. Is that how you do it? I have no idea. This is not helping me at all. I guess we're just going to try it. See what happens. Start moving things around. I can't do it. How do you do it? Oh, okay. Just two feet. It looks like. Bot, bot. Oh, there we go. Got some hands. And I think we got a head right here somehow. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Bot bot cheese custard cake guy. It's a cool cheese custard cake. Cakes more or something was the name, right? Little transforming cake. Little transforming food item. Not bad. 
little blind bag transformer I'm liking this I'm liking this line right here all right so let's try another one All right, I'm taking another drink of water. <clears throat> okay. Welcome back. We got bot bots, blind bags, and the last one was a kind of cheesecake kind of guy, chocolate cheesecake guy. Let's open this one. Oh, looks like a corn. We got a corn. Another food item. So let's go ahead and try to transform him. Oh, wings open. This piece, I guess, like that. We got some feet. Feet, corn. This opens up, I think. The minute by minute rain forecast alone helps me with my rush hour commute. Forms, He's got a little corn head. Exactly where Where's his arms? Does he have arms? Yeah, he does. He's got some arms too. Little robot arms. This one looks pretty cool. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't want to break the arms. How do you do this? Is that it? Okay, there we go, guys. Fully transformed corn guy maybe this goes up like this like a chest yeah it's better like that chest plate transformer there's his little face in there Secure the subject on the table and step outside, see if can are these supposed the to come off or something? no I think they just go like that we got some hands right here a little laser blaster a little corn laser blaster Not bad. Little transformers. Dollar store. And that's the corn one. And we got a cheesecake one. Corn and a cheesecake. Next time we go back, we'll check to see if they have any more hanging at uh, this from Dollar Tree, guys. All right, let's see what's up. We're gonna keep it rolling, and we got some pony pickups. Dollar Tree. This one I'm working on right here. I'm customizing it to a drip pony. It has some drip on it. Yeah. Drip pony. Then I got like this one. Is like a newer, the newer kind of version. The newer eye, the the eye style and the head mold from the newer pony cartoon, and this is the classic head mold. So this one too, I'm gonna customize it. Let me go ahead and take this off right now. Let's take all the stuff off. And Get this little brush. Well, I guess we could leave it like that. Yeah, I gotta leave it like that anyway. Because we gotta paint it or whatever I'm gonna do when we customize these ponies. And then this is the another classic, what do you call it? Classic uh, head mold. Another pickup. That's Dollar Tree. Uh, What's next? Okay, we're gonna do. These little military toys. Put some of these over here. And we got how many we got? We got two, three, four, five. Alright, put them down over here. Let me get at them real quick. And then this one, Final Faction, is a uh, little 
another action figure, but it looks like a uh, you know sci-fi adventure kind of thing, you know, uh, GI Joe kind of, kind of like the same kind of scale. Comes with a uh, space gun and a helmet. It looks like this guy is steadfast or something. Final Faction cartoon details on back. So there's a cartoon, I guess. I've never seen it. I guess you look it up on YouTube, maybe find it. Final Faction. Here's the bad guy. This is the Dollar Tree pickup. G.I. Joe style. Knock off G.I. Joe's. Let's go ahead and unbox them. First we got that space gun. Space gun. It's a nice accessory. We got the helmet. Oh, the Halo helmet like that. Awesome, awesome helmet. Now let's get the guy out. Oh, okay. So first impression is it's very cheap plastic. Feels like it could break, snap at any second. Very light. Yeah, just very light, hollow. Got some screws in the back. Um, legs just move like that. Arm, arms and legs move. Head. And, Head kind of moves, but not really. Barely. Let's go ahead and put the helmet on him. Oh, it looks much better. Dollar store. G.I. Joe knockoff. And he's got a robot arm, it looks like. Let's go ahead and also put the uh, weapon in his hand. Okay, there we go. There's our Stormtrooper, Marine Stormtrooper. He has that space gun right there. That gun's pretty awesome, awesome looking. With that giant clip scope. This is actually an awesome uh, figure. This is a pretty cool figure for a dollar, guys. So yeah, go check it out at Dollar Tree. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Oh, I think I got the whole set. But there might be some I don't have. So if you collect these, um, yeah, let me know which ones I'm missing in the comments section. And this guy right here. Look at this guy right here. It's like a wetsuit with the, with the machine gun like that. What's this guy doing? It's like a riot gear like that or is SWAT team style. This guy comes with that uh, AR, like the machine gun. M16 or whatever. This guy looks like he has a bunch of bullets. So he's the guy that carries all the ammo. Got all that ammo packs. Suited and booted, uh, backpack, survival backpack, and then there's another weapon on there, like a grappling hook. I don't know if that comes off or not, or if it's uh, molded on there. Let's go ahead and take this one out. Nothing on the back. Military. Let's take out the weapon. Okay, these guys, G.I. Joe guys, same kind of light plastic like the other one. Okay. Light plastic. Put the gun in his hand. How do you put the gun in his hand? Gun's not fitting in his hand. Gun's not really fitting that good. That's a negative. Let's put on the pack. It's got this survival pack, pack, backpack, 
the guns on there. You can't take it off. I mean, the, not the gun, the, the grappling hook. But there he is. Military. This is called Military Action Figure. Military Action Figure, guys. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, lightweight. But it, it looks good, though. Not bad. Can't go wrong for a dollar. Okay, this guy has a rifle. So he's got like some grenades on that flat vest. It comes with some uh, scenery, fence, and a barricade. Nothing on the back. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Another Dollar Tree figure, guys. Yeah. Got the barricade. And we got the uh, barbed wire fence. To make a little scene like that. It's accessories. And we got this rifle right here. Let's put it in his hand. See, okay, the problem with these figures is that the Kung Fu grip doesn't work that well. The guns don't really fit in the hand like they should. Try to force it in there. Let's see if I can force it in there. No, I kind of, this one doesn't fit. So yeah, this one doesn't fit in this guy's hand, which is not too good, but we still got another military guy G.I. Joe knockoff he's got pull, cool uh, grenades on his vest he's got a different kind of helmet too so it's like that desert storm desert storm toys they actually do have some um, these are knockoffs of ones that are that they come out at Christmas they got some marine toys that come out at Christmas. I need to pick those up this Christmas. Uh, military, again, we got... This guy looks like uh, small soldiers, bro. Or like Arnold. 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 Or like the guy from Small Soldiers, kind of. I forget his name. That general. And this guy comes with a shoddy. That shotgun. And a backpack. With the radio gear, looks like. Military knockoff G.I. Joe guys are knockoff, uh, not really G.I. Joe's knockoff. Um, Marines, they got a, a line of little Marine toys that come out every Christmas, and yeah, I think that's a knock. These are a knockoff of that. Okay, let's put the gear on right away. And he's got the shoddy, and right away, he's not gonna be able to hold it, I could tell. This Kung Fu grip is not made right for these weapons. These weapons aren't made right. So I guess we could make it like he's holding it like this, maybe. Oh! And <laughs> the backpack falls. It's probably better to just like glue it in there. Let's try it one more time and see if the backpack fits or stays in there. It doesn't really like stay. In that one, maybe lower. Yeah, that one looks better. Or actually, it fits better. So now we got the radio pack. Desert Storm style. He's got the shotgun. You can't hold it the right way, but he can hold it that way. So I guess he could just beat you with it or something. Looking like the small soldiers general. And these figures are actually, like I said again, pretty awesome for a dollar, guys. Knock off G.I. Joe's. Uh, knock off Desert Storm. Let's see, we got two more. Okay, so this guy comes with a different weapon. It's the same kind of guy. It's the same kind of guy from the other uh, box set. It just comes with a different weapon. And it has the scenery. So we're just actually get, got this guy to get the weapon. Let's pull out the scenery. Be careful not to drop everything on, 
All the toys on the floor. Okay. Same guy as this guy. Let's check. Yeah, it's a duplicate, right? Duplicates. And then this is a new weapon that comes with it. It's got the uh, machine gun with the grenade launcher scope. Grenade launcher. Nice little bonus right there. And we got one more. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Watch Pick Boy Entertainment. Got one more guy, and he comes with this uh, fantasy kind of. What, what is it? MFG or something? Is that, is that what you call it? Mother of all guns or something like that. Motherfucking guns or just like a crazy uh, Duke Nukem style. I don't even think this is real. If it is, it just has a, a lot of options all over it on this uh, AR or whatever. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And I, this is a new guy, I think. Is it? Do we have this guy? No, this is a new guy. Yeah, this is a new guy right here. New soldier. Unboxings are the best. You watch it. My car. Forget the rest. Scenery. We can do like a whole scene right now. We're going to do a set up a scene. Before we go, guys. Thanks for watching My Cart's Toys. This is a new guy right here. Soldiers. Toy soldiers. With the toy soldiers. And you can't hold the gun. Oh, he can. Okay, this guy can hold the gun. Kind of. Try to snap it in there again. Okay. This guy can hold the gun. But it's always like, you can't shoot. He has to shoot you this way. Because like, the Kung Fu grip is it's not made right. And I think it's just because it's like a, it's a crappy plastic. It's like a light plastic. It's not a, a real like rubbery G.I. Joe hand plastic. Or was that? Yeah, it was like more flexible. Or it's just made wrong, I think. It's like clasping not right. And also the the handle of the guns are too big. So yeah, anyways, we'll be right back, guys. Thanks for watching Mike Cart's Toys. Check out the scene of all the soldiers together. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like.